Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm standing here in our chicken food plot and I'm gonna show you what we're growing. We are growing one, two, three, four, five different kinds of grains for our chicken this year. So as you'll notice, a lot of our crops really don't look that good. So this isn't meant to be a how to grow each one of these specific crops video but it is gonna be kind of an inspiration on what grains are really easy to go for, grow for chickens. This is our first year growing on this property and to be honest with you guys, it didn't go all that well. We didn't amend the soil as much as we should have. We did mix in a bunch of compost, but it didn't go as far as we wanted it to. The drainage is so bad, there's really basically no organic matter in the soil. So just mixing in compost wasn't enough. We're probably gonna to have to mound compost next year and I'm hoping for a lot better results then. But if you're just here for ideas of grain that you can grow for our chickens, that's what I'm here to help you with. I'm gonna tell you about the grains we're growing for our chickens, but then I'm also gonna tell you at the end of the video, I'm gonna give you a bunch of stuff that you can feed your chickens that is not necessarily grain you have to grow yourself. It's stuff that they can kinda of just get on their own. So if you wanna stick around for that, I will get to that too. Okay, where to start? So let's start with the sunflowers. So one of the most fun and one of the easiest grains that you can grow for your chickens are sunflower seeds. And different sunflowers, different types of sunflowers are going to create more or less feed depending on the kind of you get, the kind that you get. So the one that I have here is not necessarily one that we actually grew for the chickens, but it is growing better than it did over there because this area of the garden is just doing better in general. This one is a really pretty kind of chocolate black sunflower. I couldn't tell you what it's called if I tried, but I'm gonna pick off one of the sunflower heads and show you kind of how we get the sunflower seeds out. It is worth knowing that if you are growing sunflowers for your chickens, you don't actually have to kind of harvest the grain, no matter what the crop is. You don't actually have to harvest it like you would for a human. A lot of times the chickens will do that themselves. If I throw a giant sunflower head in with the chickens, they're gonna love it, they're gonna eat it. If you wanna store a bunch of it for the winter and you don't have a lot of storage, that's when you might wanna think about kind of harvesting it for yourself, storing it in bags, that kind of thing, because obviously that'll take up a lot less space. But if storage isn't necessarily your concern, you can throw this right to your chickens. Okay, so this is one of the smaller sunflower heads, which is probably why it is ready sooner. One really easy way to tell when it's ready to harvest is just when the birds start eating it. That's, I mean, that's kind of a dead giveaway. And then what I like to do is just kind of pick away this uh, outer layer. You can kind of rub it off once it's fully ripe. And right there, and right there you'll see a bunch of seed heads that actually look like sunflower seeds like you would get in a pack or like you would get from a, a bag of sunflower seeds that you're gonna snack on. These are a little bit smaller than most kind of human type snacking sunflower seeds, but the chickens will love them all the same. Ooh, they actually smell really good too. Unfortunately, the giant sunflower heads, the ones that kind of have the gray and black stripes on the seeds that most people grow for snacking and they, they make those giant sunflower heads, they didn't turn out that great just because the soil is so bad this year. So I don't think we'll have much to go by, but that's why it's best to start on a small scale, plant what you can and learn for next year. I'm also seeing some little grubs on here, which the girls will absolutely love. So I'm just gonna throw this into them just how it is. Now another type of grain that can be really easy to grow for your chickens is corn, specifically dent corn. I like to look for corns that um, generally are used for like cornmeal, but I've also heard just look for dent corn specifically and should be good to go there. These are really short. We have some really tall ones over there, but I didn't really plant mine correctly this year, not only because the soil isn't great, but also because it's best planted in blocks for better pollination. So that's something to keep in mind that we'll definitely do next year. This year I planted two varieties. I planted a yellow dent corn, which is for cornmeal. I think it's called a nothestine, nothestine, something like that. And then I also planted the rainbow uh, glass gem, kind of like rainbow kernel corn. So. We'll see if we get any corn stalks. I did see a couple little ones forming, so I think it might not be a total loss. I should add too, a lot of people might say, why are you feeding your, your chickens grain at all? And that's a really good question because, I mean, grain isn't necessarily required for their diet. 
the thing about grain, it is, is it is really easy to store. So we live in an environment where it gets very cold during the winter. We cannot grow basically anything during the winter. I love that so many of you are able to put kind of mini greenhouses out and at least grow some lettuce. I mean, there's certain very cold crops that we can harvest, but in terms of actual energy that is gonna help keep the chickens warm and help them laying through, help them keep laying through the winter, there really is actually nothing that we can grow um, during the winter that is gonna provide a lot of caloric value. So that's where grains come in handy. We do like our chickens to lay as much as their bodies are willing throughout the winter. We don't use an artificial light. But we do like to make sure that they have enough calories to keep warm. We don't heat their coop in the winter, so we just make sure they have enough calories. And feeding grain is part of that. It doesn't have to come from a feed store. So our goal is definitely to become more self-sufficient, ideally someday totally self-sufficient, where during the summer the chickens are pretty much free ranging, eating scraps from the fruit trees, and uh, I'll get more into that in a second. But we would primarily be growing these grains to store for them so that they have something to eat throughout the winter. Even though I already talked about sunflowers, I'm gonna stand here and tell you about the next thing <laughs> because it really didn't go well for me. So the next grain that we started growing for our chickens is amaranth. And amaranth I have had success growing before. Unfortunately, I have a really hard time getting amaranth to germinate. I think it's because I don't tend to keep my seedlings moist, as moist as they're supposed to be. So I, I think that's my problem, but I just kind of scattered a bunch of amaranth seeds in a row and it did not go well. So unfortunately, I don't have any to show you. I'm sure I can put up beautiful pictures for you of what it's supposed to look like. But amaranth is a grain that once it gets going, in my experience, it's actually very easy to grow and our chickens do love eating it. In fact, we do have quite a bit of wild amaranth growing on our property, so we can kind of use that. But the nice thing about amaranth is it does create a ton of, I guess, caloric value. So it doesn't take much to store the seeds, um, but it does create a lot of crop or harvest, if you will. Plus, it's also beautiful to look at. That's why I especially love sunflowers and I especially love amaranth uh, because they are so pretty. You can get really pretty varieties. You know, not everything has to be doomsday minded. Most of the time, we're just gonna be living normal lives and kind of trying our hand at these things. And there is a lot to be said for beautiful things around you and things that you really enjoy. So I really like growing amaranth for that reason. It comes in all kinds of colors. And uh, yeah, it's the chickens love to eat it. On that note, kind of on the amaranth note, another one you can grow is quinoa. You can grow all different kinds of quinoa. And I mean, these are all really similar. They're all grains that tend to be pretty easy to grow, but let's use it as a segue into my next crop. All right, guys, check this out. This is pretty cool. This is called sorghum. You can get sorghum in all different varieties. Um, this one actually is doing pretty well, even though it looks pretty short. It's doing well. It is a shorter variety of sorghum. This one, I believe, is called Texacoa. One reason that I really like sorghum is it's kind of considered like a survival crop. It can do a lot of different things. Not this variety specifically, but a lot of varieties of sorghum, you can actually make sorghum syrup. So you actually take the canes and you boil them down and it creates kind of a sugary substance that you can make syrup out of. So people will have sorghum syrup pancakes, but I mean, even for like caloric value, it's not just the seed head you're looking at then, it's also the canes can provide calories. As far as the seed head goes, these ones are not quite ready yet. I believe they kind of turn whiter when they're ready, but they're well on their way. Another reason it's kind of a survival crop is because it is very drought tolerant. So more similar to, I guess, corn, which is more drought tolerant than some of these other crops I've talked about. Don't quote me on this, but I want to say it's actually native to Africa. So um, yeah, very drought tolerant, something that I'm going to plant a lot more of where we don't have really drip irrigation or it's difficult to get irrigation too. So another one that is really good for growing your own chicken feed, especially for kind of a preparedness or emergency type situation, I guess supply chain breakdown situation, but also because it can provide calorie value for you and your family as well, not just the chickens. I'm not sure if chickens would eat the stalks or not, they're pretty fibrous. So I'm not sure that chickens would be able to extract that the same way we could by boiling it, but might be worth a try. So those are the five grains that we are choosing to grow for chickens um, over the winter. So to recap, that's kind of various types of sunflowers, various types of amaranth, even though it didn't go so well this year. I know it will in the future. It's gonna take a little practice. 
various types of sorghum. We've had great success with sorghum this year. We will definitely be growing more of that. Corn, of course, is a huge one. I know I'm not saying you should feed your chickens a corn-only diet, but it absolutely will help them over the winter. We're talking more of a dried corn there, not so much a sweet corn. And then kind of the quinoa millet, like all sorts of little mini grains that probably aren't super hard to grow either. Actually, another little bonus one that I'll throw in there is buckwheat. Buckwheat can be a really great grain that is easy to grow in a lot of areas like ours and provides a lot of caloric value. And it's another one where you can grind down if you want and eat it yourself with your family. So buckwheat is another one that I didn't get in the ground this year. If I'm being honest, yes, I did buy seeds and I didn't get them in the ground. <sighs> hopefully next year. I know a lot of people can be really anti-grain diet for a while. It was a very anti-grain diet for dogs was the fad. And you know, I right now it's kind of seeming like people are going through that same fad with chickens. And I'm not saying it's horrible. I think it's good that people are trying to improve their animals' diets. Um, as a personal trainer, I always recommend improving your own too. We can all improve on our own diet. But the key here is that you can be a lot more self-sustainable when you can grow your own chicken feed. I believe it's also gonna be better for the chickens. I am going to know for a fact that there are no pesticides going on these plants. I'm gonna know for a fact there are no pesticides going into my chickens that way. So there are a lot of reasons why you might want to grow grain for your chickens. Probably the largest one being if you live in an area like ours that gets cold during the winter, like so cold that nothing grows pretty much. I mean, things can kind of stay alive, carrots, kale, we can, they can kind of stay alive, but let's not fool ourselves. We cannot make chickens survive on that. There is a lot of value to growing and drying and saving grain, either for yourself or your chickens. So if you're somebody who that sounds appealing to, I hope this got the idea wheel spinning. If you guys are growing grain for your chickens or you have other ideas for things to grow for chickens, I would love to hear your comments down below. Anything especially that is easy to save for winter, it can kind of just throw in a bag in a cool dry place and it'll be good to go. That is a huge plus. Like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, we really like to have the bulk of our chickens diet come from scraps during the spring, summer, and winter scraps from the garden. So a lot of that is gonna be coming from the fruit trees. I have a whole orchard behind me. One of my favorite things about having fruit trees and chickens is that you get all those kind of yucky-ish fruits that fall to the ground and people don't wanna eat. Those go to the chickens and they love them. And that is a very good source of calories for the chickens. Now, if you guys know me, you know that we are not really careful about what our chickens get. They get all kinds of scraps from us. Probably the only thing that we're really careful about not giving them is like chocolate um, and then like desserts. We don't eat a ton of that ourselves, but we don't throw that to them. But kitchen scraps are really huge for us. Uh, garden scraps, you know, especially during the growing season, they eat all kinds of melons and cucumbers, all kinds of good stuff. So that's the only other thing I'll add if you are here because you are just looking to cut feed costs and you're not necessarily looking to keep grain throughout the winter, that's probably gonna be the easiest way to do it. So I hope this video was somewhat helpful. I will link a lot of really helpful links for you below, things that you can feed your chickens to offset feed costs and specific grains that you can grow yourself if you want to keep sustaining them throughout the winter without buying feed from the feed store. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.